Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Tanmayi Pangaluri, current D2 student at NYU. Uh, let's just say, luckily, if you're accepted in many schools, and if you're weighing your pros and cons and choosing to, I mean, planning to choose the school which you're interested to go, then it's always beneficial if you can also include your expenses. And uh, many people have many speculations uh, when it comes to New York because of the city. Uh, so let me help you out. Uh, in terms of the college fee, uh, it is approximately around 250K for two and a half years. So the breakdown is uh, simple and it is the first six months, it's going to be approximately 50K and the next two years, which is D3 and D4, it's going to be 100K each. And this is just an estimate for this year. And there's every chance that it can uh, change according to the situations. And in terms of living expenses, uh, well, I cannot speak for everyone, but I can just share what my expenses are. And uh, it, it is really an individual choice where you want to be, how you want to lead your life and what your lifestyle is. Uh, but as you know, that dental school is really expensive and also the interest rate adds up when you're about to pay, pay back. So it's always good if you can cut down your expenses wherever possible. And um, uh, I did, a, I mean, it was really tough to find a good place close to the school. And my interest is always uh, to find a decent sized apartment close to the school, but not far. Uh, because I, I I pretty much knew how hard it is to have a car in New York. And those of you who don't know, it's really a hard thing if you have a car because there would no there would not be any proper parking facilities and there's so much of traffic. So it's better if you uh, don't get a car along with you if you're planning to move to New York. And uh, the best thing is uh, there is a good subway transportation system. You can use that instead. And yeah, if you're planning to get a car, instead stop that and try to invest that money in a place which is close to the school so that you will be skipping that commuting part. And uh, commuting is kind of slightly hard because uh, classes might be anytime starting from 7.30 or 8 in the morning to 8 or 9 in the evening. So it, it varies according to the each person's schedule and according to the availability of the professors and labs as well. Uh, so if you are commuting from a far place, it will be really hard because you should be trying, uh, you should be matching the schedule of the uh, train, subways or anything or buses and that will be a hassle. So it's, it's kind of better if you can uh, stay close to school. And uh, uh, luckily, I found a decent sized apartment close to school uh, after after a very long effort. And my apartment is uh, two BHK and we are two people and it's two BHK and one bath. And we got a good deal uh, just because of COVID and uh, the rental prices in New York uh, really went down and we got a good deal, which is uh, $2,300 per month, uh, including uh, utilities, Wi-Fi, electricity. And uh, I just compromised on the view part because I don't want to spend beyond this. But if you're really interested in having a good view, then uh, you, there's also an availability of such places, but it always comes up with a price. And that might uh, be anywhere around 2,700 to 335. So it's up to you where you want to live. And, uh, and coming to groceries, uh, currently, we are at a budget of 250 per person per month. So it's going to be 500 uh, per month for both of us. And uh, one good thing about New York is uh, you can find different places, uh, which gives you a variety of food options at different prices. Uh, so you can go to a lavish restaurant and spend so much. Uh, and you can also go to a roadside uh, place and you can also get good food there. So it's really an individual choice, uh, but generally somewhere it will be around 1500 to 1600 per month uh, if you're planning your expenses uh, well. Um, again, it's, it's up to you if you want to spend more. Uh, that's really a choice. Uh, many people do ask me about the insurance. Uh, colleagues do provide us an insurance, but if you already have one and planning to continue it, uh, you can always do it. And uh, there's always an option of uh, opting out from the college insurance. Uh, so think about it. And um, 
many people uh, also ask many questions about about how to find an apartment. Uh, uh, to my knowledge, there are many apps, but the one which I used is StreetEasy app. And I also kind of looked into Craigslist. Um, so if you have anyone who is in New York, uh, reach out to them, ask them what all uh, are the available options to search for better places to be in. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot many uh, apps to download and to search. And there are so many filters, so you can keep all your requirements into it and you will be getting a better deal and better price. And uh, that's it. Thank you.